WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow, she's up 65 points, a two-tenths of a percent. S&P, five points, one-tenth. NASDAQ, 108 points, a not a point zero five percent to the upside. Russell's up four tenths, nine points. The semis are up one and seven tenths percent, sixty-two points. The trannies are up thirty-nine. All right, what does all of that mean, Jelly Bean? What that means? Let's go take a look at our eight panel indice charts out here. Let's go look as we populate this. The first chart that's going to pop up. Well, it's going to be all of them. But in your upper left-hand side, you're going to see the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Today is going to become bar number eight of a TD nine count. On those TD nine counts, they can form tops and bars eight, nine, the bar following nine. That says in the Dow, we could or should anticipate at least a short-term top to form between today and Wednesday. The S&P 500 today is going to become bar number nine. It has a valid TD nine count top. The high so far was Thursday's high. Could get a higher high tomorrow out there and still maintain the pattern. In both instances, once those TD9 counts take effect, we should see price pull back to those oscillator and change line levels. 36.065 in the Dow, 46.44 inside the S&P 500. Let's not leave out the NDX 100. It, too, is going to form bar number nine of a TD9 count today. Again, it can spike higher, close higher tomorrow. But when the pattern is complete, we should see price pull back to the 16.028 level. That's its green oscillator and change line. The Russell 2000, no such pattern, only in bar number six. So in order for it to identify a top, you need to see a bearish reversal candle to confirm a sell the D point. The semis today are going to form bar number eight. So they've lined up with the uh, Dow, the S&P, and the NDX 100. Of course, they'll need to form bar number nine tomorrow. That should not be difficult at all. The question is, does its high form on bars eight, nine, or the bar following bar number nine. I'll go with the bar. I'll go with bar number nine out there. In the case of the transports out here, not much really to report on. The spot volatilix, there is something to report on here. The spot volatilix getting up to 1769 as it's high today. 1771 is that 50-day exponential moving average out there. And if you see a close above 1771 today, uh, at this stage, it does not look like we would have a one-day rate of change above plus 10%. And that would signal that inside the S&P 500, its TD9 top has taken place. The price should go target that oscillator unchanged line. Folks, stay tuned. David White with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock sharp for the market update, the Trader's Ed Show, just a few minutes after that. Have a magical Monday, folks. Thanks so much for joining us.